Hello, in this video, you'll learn how to create an icon generator system that will allow you to create a nice icon of any mesh in your game. You'll learn how to use render targets, which will basically allow you to show 3D objects as 2D textures in your game. And if you want to learn more about how you can use these icons in your game, I'm working on a brand new course, how to make an RPG inventory system. In it, you'll learn how to do many things like create a dynamic and modular inventory system, how to make an interaction system, how to make dragging and dropping in your inventory, and a lot more. You can find a link to the course in the description of this video. It's still in development though, so it's not finished yet, although depending on when you're watching this, the course may already be fully done. With that said, let's get into the video. Hello, to get started, I'm just in my blueprints folder, and I'm just gonna right click and go blueprint class, select an actor, and I'm just gonna call this my blueprint underscore icon generator. Then if I just double click and open it up, I just want to go over to my components tab and go add and look for a scene capture component 2D. This is what we're going to use to basically take an image of our icon. For our scene capture component 2D, if we just scroll down, it needs a texture target. So if we just close this blueprint and I'm just going to create a new folder and call it render targets. Then if I double click and open it up, we just want to right click and go over to texture and just select render target and just call this the render target underscore icon. Then double click and open it up. We can change the resolution of this. Right now it's 256 by 256, but I'm just going to leave mine with these values for now. If we just go back to our BP icon generator, for the texture target, we just want to change this to be our render target underscore icon that we just made. Then if we just go over to components, just go add and look like static mesh. This is going to be the thing that we create the icon of. I'm just going to select my static mesh and you can use any mesh, but I imported these models of some shields. I'm just going to use them as one of my icons and I'm just going to move this backwards a bit. Next, we just want to compile this, close this and head over to our render targets folder. And we just want to create a new material. So right now we can see it's already kind of taking the screenshot of our shield, although we're going to be creating a material, which will make it a lot easier for us to basically create our icons. So if we just right click, go create new material, I just call this the M underscore icon, double click and open it up. And then we just want to briefly close this and drag in our render target. And we just want to select this material and change it to be a user interface and change the um, blend mode to be translucent connect from the RGB into the final color and then we just want to connect from this alpha value we're going to drag off here and look for the one minus node this will basically just remove any background this has and we just want to connect this into the opacity and then we just want to go apply and save this then if we go back to our BP icon generator we just want to go to components and go add and look for a plane and I'm just going to move this plane and rotate it and then you just want to select this plane right click again and duplicate it and just call this the background then select the first plane and just call this the icon so if you hold F2 on your keyboard that allow you to quickly rename things for the icon make sure that this has the M underscore icon material and then you should see a preview of how our icon is going to look. Next, if I just select the shield, I can rotate it. And I'm basically seeing how my um, icon is going to look. I can basically move it closer or further away from the camera. If you want to have more precision when you're moving it, just go over here and change the snap size to be 1. And this will give you a lot more precision when you're basically moving it. So right now, this is roughly going to be how the icon of my shield is going to look. We can just compile this and save it. Once you've found something you're happy with, we just want to close this. And we want to go and just select our render target, right click on it, and we can just go create static texture. And I can just call this my texture underscore common shield. Then we're not done. We just want to double click and open it up. Right now, if we open this, this isn't our shield, but we just need to scroll down and go over to adjustments. And in the min alpha, give this a value of one. And in the max alpha, give this a value of zero. That will remove the background. 
and then just like that we can use this image elsewhere in our game so right now like i showed you earlier i'm making this rpg inventory system and this is basically how i'm creating icons for the items in my inventory and by creating it like this they all look the same and they all look nice and for those that want a complete solution about how you can use the icons you generate in an inventory system i'm working on my rpg inventory system course which will go over how to do this and a lot more check out the first link in the description if you're interested in that with that said like and subscribe if you enjoyed comment to let me know what other tutorials you'd like me to make and i'll see you guys in the next one bye